Happy. Oh, you are the worst. She was waiting. Happy. Happy Friday, you lovely lot. It's day three, and you are joining us from Universal's Endless Summer Dockside Report. <laughs> <laughs> Dockside Report! Dockside Resort, and it is a beautiful, beautiful day here in Orlando. It is coming up for nine o'clock. Kiefer's only been out for a bit of a run on International Drive. How does that make you feel, girls? Oh my Don't God, I'm lying. Huh? 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 I'm glad I had a lie in. Yes. Okay, no worries. Just your choices are your choices. Right. Anyway, we um, had a fantastic evening yesterday. We are all getting ready um, to go out now. As I say, it's just coming up for quarter, uh, for nine o'clock and we will be meeting our friends at the bus stop in about 15 minutes because we are heading over to SeaWorld. So yeah, we're going to be popping over there um, we generally use SeaWorld as um, like a half a day or maybe like two thirds of a day. Then I think we're going to go and do a bit of the outlets and then we'll just keep the evening loose. We'll probably go for some food and we might even head into the parks again. Who knows? I think we might head into the parks again. Um, Hagrid's at night. Tracy found that slightly extreme. I did, and the more I think about it, now that I know what to expect, I think I'll be okay with it at night again. Um, when I do it, because I can see in the daylight what's coming up, I can kind of get my head, I know it's split seconds, but I can kind of get my head around what's gonna happen, whereas in the dark, that was a bit much. <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, the parks are feeling, as, as you're walking around the parks, they're feeling fine. However, Hagrid's was a two hour wait last night, but we really wanted to get it done. So we got it done. The hotel is also feeling pretty busy up until now because there is a, like a cheerleading convention on and it does feel like we're in a bit of a sort of a sitcom, not a sitcom, it like a, a doctor drama. It's quite extreme because I think it is like, what, I mean, I don't know anything about cheer, but I think it's one of like the biggest competitions that they have ever. Yeah. And it's like at ESPN, I think. Yeah. So it's just like cheerleaders everywhere. I think there's people from all over the world as well. Yeah. It's just like, oh, I like your outfit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very glittery. It's very like straight it. back it's, hair. It's so American. Yeah. I love it. it you're definitely not in England. <laughs> you're definitely I not. I love that sort of thing. We're not in Kansas now. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's been really fun to watch. I went down to get coffee this morning and it is, you know, the drama. And uh, I was chatting to one of the cheer mums down there and she was like complaining because her voice was all hoarse because she'd been screaming all day and they've made it right through to the next round. But yeah, it, it's, I'd, I would actually like to go and see it because as Daisy said, it, it's like so American and I'd love to, yeah, if we had time or if we were able to, I'd love to go and watch that because it was, all the dads are here and they've all got like cheer dad t-shirts and I was chatting to one of the dads when we were waiting to get coffee. And yeah, so that's been, there's been like a real buzz about the place, but they are bloody noisy and they will be leaving today. So good luck to all that lot. Anyway, we will see you at the bus stop. Right, we're all lit here at SeaWorld. You excited? Yeah, man, I just love it. I'm here for the stingrays, I'm here for the vibes. Um, just gonna have a great time. Nice, excited. Yes, I love, I love the ambiance and the atmosphere at SeaWorld, so yeah. Yeah, are you excited? I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, that was $10 in the Uber. Was which, it? Yeah, from wow. Dockside to here, $10, That's which is well good. good. It is. I feel like he went a different way though. Yeah. I was like, I don't know if he knew where he was going. Yeah. So we're going to find our friends. It looks like there's a big school trip here. So we're going to see how this plays out. But we're all in the park. Security was a breeze. We had like barcodes on paper tickets. And they're the same tickets that we're going to use for Discovery Cove tomorrow. It is. Well nice in here. It's warm. It is really warm. This is the best weather we've had so far. Yeah, so we are going to head straight over to Mako. It's always good vibes in here, Daisy. You like the music, right? That's a hoist on. What? That is sad. Lobster mac and cheese? Yeah. Is that a show? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a, a kid's show. That's doesn't it. We've never been in that, have we? We've never been in that, no. It's basically like Tower of Terror, so I'm pretty sure it goes to the top and then it just drops. Yeah, but it spins as it's dropping. Yeah, well. Seem to have some sort of food and wine, like food festival type thing going on. Daisy just spied a lobster roll. We might try some of this later. Really like that. Look, it, it does get dolphin in it as well. <laughs> it does not have dolphin in it. It's dolphin. Um, 
And you just talked about Journey to Atlantis. Yeah. You made a good point. I was We've like, not ridden it in a while. But I just said that I, I only really come to Florida now is to ride Fast Furious and uh, Journey to Atlantis, obviously now that there's no longer Captain EO and Epcot. So they're the two that I come for. And uh, I just said I can't wait to ride it. And Dad was like, yeah, I love that. I love that ride. And I'm like, no, you don't. Because every time we come off it, you go, that was rubbish. <laughs> I was talking, it's not been refurbed in ages. What it feels like is it feels like it doesn't really belong in uh, in like Florida or SeaWorld. It really feels like it belongs in like a crummy park in Spain. <laughs> like in like a backwater part of Spain. It, it's definitely in need of a facelift, but I think we should ride it because we've not ridden it oh, in no. a long time. No, I love it. I, I, it's charmingly terrible. <laughs> right. It's a good ride, it just needs updating. We're gonna go and get on Mako. Right, so you're joining us from the front row. Who's excited? I'm excited. No, I don't want to do it! <laughs> no! There's Mako over there, and we're going. Oh, it's steep! Oh, I remember it's quick now. It's steep. Like I like the music. I like the music. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> so there's the view, and my whole sort of survival thing's kicking in a little bit at the moment. So here we go! Ah! Oh god! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Mako done, rode it twice, front row both times. That ride is fantastic. I think that might be number one spot for me again. That's such a great ride. It's really high though. That's the one thing and that whole sort of survival thing kicks in. But I love it, absolutely love it. Right, just up ahead is Infinity Falls, which is like a raft ride. It's one of Daisy's favorite experiences ever on a holiday. No, I hated that. Because we did it on the first, like first ride of the day, I got soaked and I was miserable for the rest of the day. You do get absolutely soaked. Like bring your swimmers, bring your crocs or your flip flops, you are going to get drenched. I don't think we're going to do it today. <laughs> Now heading into Sesame Street Land. It sounds like there's some sort of is that Cookie Monster show. I don't really know. I can hear him. Right. Definitely hear him. I really like parades now. Yeah, I like parades. Yeah. <laughs>
10 out of 10. You're getting a bit emotional. <laughs> You're returning it to you. I just love it. It's a joy. It's pure joy. It's lovely. The amount of interaction and how close they're getting. They're like feet away, seeing all the kids like loving it. This is 10 out of 10. You're right. <laughs> that was pure joy. Yeah. It was brilliant. Every single performer was putting in 150% energy. Yeah. What do you think? Lovely. It's amazing. So It was, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely love that. It, this is the sort of direction that SeaWorld's going in with parades and things like that. It just had a whole new dimension to it. I love it. It was just, just crazy as they said. Just wholesome, joyful, colourful. Everyone's going for it. Brilliant. Right, one of the new rides here at SeaWorld is Icebreaker. I've never ridden it. Looks like it goes backwards. Definitely could spin me out, but I've got to have a go. Now sit back with your back against the seat and head against the headrest. And get ready to break the ice. I don't know what to expect. Not very long. No. Oh, sideways. really average uncomfortable ride vehicle ride didn't do anything theming yeah i don't know why you'd put a ride in like that it's you know they themed the whole area around it and it's just a bit meh it's only a 15 minute wait but it just I just don't get it you know i don't know why you would buy a new ride like that it's just a bit they've been building it for ages just yeah not a fan, but as I say, having a nice time, having a, some drinks at the bar, burgers around here smelling great, so we might have some lunch shortly. But yeah, a little bit underwhelming. Icebreaker, talk me through it. I don't really understand it. And I think the seats are uncomfortable. Yeah. But, like the first bit, I was like, I really like the bit where it's like, we move back and you get forward and then you're like, oh, going back again. Like that, that was really nice. The rest of it just felt like being thrown around a little bit. Yeah. Luke's currently enjoying a pineapple margarita. How is it? Spicy margarita. How is it? Spicy. What do you think of the ride? It was alright. I don't. Uh, it's a bit confusing, really. I don't know um, what the point was of like the harness things being so loose. It was uncomfortable and difficult to get in and out of. Yeah. Uh, and like to ride it, I thought it was like somewhat fun. It was quite. It was quite tame. Yeah. But it was not complaining. We got on within five minutes. But now. Margarita in hand, sun's out. Life is good. Right, Daisy and I are just heading into here. We thought it was just a shop, but it's a bit of a. It's a bit weird. We're going to follow the sign. Kind of feels that we shouldn't be here. Part of me feels like I'm going to have to start running. And that's freaking out. It's too cold. Is it like a little walk? Yeah, it might be. Yeah. So it seems it's like some like a walk through attraction, which is cool. It's very nice and chill. Yeah, it's very chill. We've got some seals on the go. That one just chilling in Oh, 
Blimey. What's going on here then? I'm taking it home. You're taking it home? It's really, really squidgy. I love it. Oh, it is squidgy. Look at the tiny seal. Oh, it's a polar bear. <laughs> nice shot. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> Derek. Yeah, very nice. Right, it is coming up for five past one. We're just about to... Journey to Atlantis. Yep, see what? We're going to see how that's standing right. So, Journey to Atlantis had a massive weight on it. I'm not queuing up for that. So we're going to do the um, penguin experience and see who we'll answer the queues in a bit. It smells bad. Whoa. You do sort of kind of get used to the uh, the smell pretty quick. You can get really close to them. It's very cool. Yeah, you could definitely get out. I think once you got sort of acclimatised to the, uh, yeah, and it's a bit smelly, it's really good. I think we have done this before, but yeah, it's really cool. Downstairs, there's like an underwater viewing area. This is really cool. What do you think? This is cool. It's cool, isn't it? It's one little penguin that's just causing chaos. It's, it's just bumping so, into it's everyone. It's so fast and it changes direction. He's not looking where he's going. He's bumping into all the other penguins. It's hilarious. There he goes. There he is. Kind of. Right. We've been wandering around for a bit. It's coming up for half past two. Manta is now at a 25 minute wait. It was way higher than that earlier. So they're going to go on it. I'm going to sit this one out because it doesn't do me any favours. <laughs> yeah, you'd be a bit squirrely, aren't you? Massive. Stingray food, sit your hand in and give them a feed. I'm not quite brave enough for that today, but nice little area. And this whole area just feels a bit like Old Key West, which is the Disney resort that we really like. So the kids are currently on Manta. Just had a cheeky bag of MMs, which I split with the lovely Tracy. And I think the plan is to get a little light bite and then pop over to the outlets for an hour or so. Starbucks for lunch, just some sandwiches and crisps and a bit of jerky. Right, nice little bit of lunch. Now we're going to head off to the outlets. How was your day at SeaWorld? Yeah, it was quite nice. Nice and chilled? Yeah, yeah, really nice. You did. Nice and warm as well. You did manta at the end as well? Yeah, we did. <laughs> How was it? Oh, I had a bit, I had a bit of a, I don't think I told you, I just got a bit nervous. Did you? Yeah, because when we were going round, I'm that one person that I will squish my legs to the point if my blood circulation cuts off, that's fine. As long as I'm not falling out of the ride, <laughs> I'm, I'm in. And I pushed it down quite hard, and then the harness started making a weird noise. Oh. And then the woman came, and I was like, um, 
it's beeping at me. <laughs> and then the woman came over and she pushed it down again, so it probably just hadn't locked in. And then when I got, when we came back in, uh, I couldn't get out and she had to come and let me out. <laughs> but was it a good ride? Yeah, it was good. I'm going to go and do some shopping now. Yeah. Right, we're shopping. Where are we? <laughs> We're at the Orlando International Premium Outlets, the ones we got lost at last time, so we're hoping we yeah, can we'll do better this time. <laughs> yeah. So I think this is going to be a quick in and out, and that was $20 in an Uber from SeaWorld to here, and it's quite a long journey. Sun's out, nice and warm, do some shopping. Right, just been in a surf short, short shop. <laughs> surf short. Bought myself some very nice board shorts, um, and now at a couple of the outlets, at a couple of the malls, you've got um, Disney outlet stores, which is where Disney puts their sort of out of date or going out of season stock for discount prices. It's a bit sort of hit and miss. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. We're going to pop in and have a look. That is nice, but it's it's pretty. It's quite loud. Yeah, well, like the ears. <laughs> Now we got some Christmas stuff as well, so like pyjamas and bits and pieces. So these pyjamas are $20 for pyjama bums. They're really nice quality. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Lots of nice stuff, bit of a mooch, but no purchases. No, but they did have some pretty good stuff in there. Yeah, like, they did. Sometimes it's a bit hit and miss. Yeah. But I reckon for the right audience, they have some good stuff. Always worth a browse. Yeah, definitely. Right, we are all done shopping. How's Bath and Body Works? It was very successful. Nice. Lots spent of... a lot on it. Nice. And you got shoes? I did get shoes. Nice. I love those shoes. Lovely. Yeah. Trace, did you get anything? I got some stuff for Bath and Body Works. Nice. Yeah. So we're going to be smelling lovely. We are. We are. Okay, it is coming up six o'clock. We better head back and find the rest of the gang. Right, we're all back. We had a very, very nice Uber driver. What we were at Orlando Premium Outlets, and to get Uber from there back to Dockside, how much reckon? I don't know. Eight dollars fifty. Okay. Uber has come right down in price, and our driver was such a lovely guy. Anyway, just a little. You know, we don't really do hauls and stuff like that. But this is what we have bought. We've got a nice Billabong t-shirt there. Daisy's got that for Sam. Another Billabong t-shirt for Sam. This one's for me. New t-shirt for Keith though. And I have bought three pairs of new trunks because they had deals on and it got complicated. So I've got those. I've got, I got those. And i got these. So very happy. Tracy, you've cleared out Bath and Body Works. Well, the truth is Daisy and I have done quite well. Um, but those as gifts for some people. Yep. This is, that smells really nice, Buttercup and Berry Bellini. So I got that body cream and the body spray. Lovely. This is a new fragrance they're doing, they're promoting, and it was, it's really nice. They've got the um, body spray, I've got a body scrub, a body cream, and they do the little hand sanitizers, and they do that in the hand sanitizer. Those hand sanitizers are the best They're ones. They're really cool. And yeah. then Daisy got this body spray and the hand sanitizer. She got some, I think that's hand cream. I have my glasses on. And because she bought, last time when we were here, she bought an air freshener for her car, and now that she's passed her test, hey, good she's Daisy. bought some more for her car, some refills. And then because these, you can buy five for, there's a deal on these if you buy five. Yeah. So we've got some more flavors. They really are the greatest hand sanitizers ever. And yes, congratulations on passing your test, Dado. Thanks. And Daisy got some new trainers. These are these are like kind of her go-to sort of trainers. So we got those. So I think we're gonna have a little little chill now and decide what we're gonna do later on. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm tripping. It is quarter to eight and we are heading down to Pier 8 to um, have a nice chilled dinner. Our friends have gone out for some much needed time away from Team Cheers Ears and they've gone <laughs> off to an Irish pub just to get away from the madness. Don't blame them. Huh? I don't blame them. I do not blame them either. <laughs> and we're just going to go and you know have a cheeky quick surf because we really rate it down there. We rate Pier 8 and um, when we were here last time, I had one of the best pizzas I've ever had. And I'm going to have another pizza in the world. Best pizza in the world. 
took a cheeky um, quick service dinner and then back to the room for a bit of a chill. Right, so we find ourselves in Pier 8 having <laughs> super pizza. Who's tried the pizza so far? How is it? Delicious. It's amazing. I haven't had it, but it was brilliant. Daisy, how is it? I haven't tried any yet. What? No. Tracy. Very good. So yeah, it's very, very busy in here. I still think the cheerleading convention's here, but everyone's smiling, everyone's happy, but it is kind of noisy, but it's kind of to be expected because of the high ceilings. So we are going to chow down and have some nom. Right, it yeah. is <laughs> half past nine and we are all back from what was a very, very nice quick service meal. Who enjoyed their meals? Me. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, and we are now settling in for a chilled night in the room and a bit of dozing because we are up early tomorrow because we're off to Discovery Cove so it's going to be super exciting. Um, we've had a fantastic day. I think my highlight for today was the Sesame Street Parade. Absolutely. Yeah, me too. Loved it. I can't believe how much I like parades. <laughs> yeah. I want to do the Mardi Gras again as well. well. We've never actually done the main parade at Universal so we have to make sure we do that this time yeah monday or tuesday right so we will see you lovely lot in the morning stay safe be kind look after one another cheers is cheers is cheers, cheers. 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 cheers.